Hello, how are you? I hope everyone is okay. Um, I just thought I'd pop in and film an intro for this vlog footage that I'm about to put up, just because um, I haven't really filmed anything since probably mid-October. So the footage that I'm going to put up is from September and October. Um, mainly because life has been so, just so hectic. We, um, we all caught COVID. <laughs> um, the children very kindly brought that little gem home from school. So we were sort of isolating for two weeks um, and we were, you know, everyone was fine. Um, the children, you know, just had sort of high temperatures um, and aches, but they were only ill for a couple of days, really. I I just was headachy, really, really headachy, and um, I was just really, really tired, and still suffering with that a bit actually. Just the, just this feeling of exhaustion. Of course, that could just be <laughs> life, but um, so yes, I I've been sort of, and just before I caught COVID, I had just started a new job um, within the same company. It's just a different library, and it's more hours. So I'm working. Um, an extra sort of, I think it's about eight hours a week, which is fine. It just needed, mean, meant I needed to be really sort of organised on my two days off. Um, but I've just been so tired. So all in all, um, I haven't had a lot of time to crochet. Um, when I come home, <clears throat> I mostly, you know, by the time I've got the children and cooked dinner, I'm just so tired that I just want to sit down with a book. So I've been reading lots, um, but I do have a couple of crochet projects <clears throat> for other people. So I have been doing those um, and trying to get organised for Christmas. Um, yeah, and that's about it really. I've got back into watching Outlander. I stopped watching it, you know, my daughter bought me the box set last year for Christmas. Of course, it's all on Amazon Prime now, isn't it? But she bought me the box set and I watched season one and I was so sort of traumatised by the violence at the end of it that I didn't watch, yeah, well, that's been nearly a year <laughs> since I've been able to watch it. But I popped season two on um, last week when I was home crocheting and yes, I've, so I've got back into that. So... And so far it's not been too bad, so fingers crossed that it's not it's not going to be too violent for me. I don't mind a bit of um, violence, you know, I, may, I, I don't mind that at all, but that was really, really violent at the end of that first season. Um, I, I kept thinking about it, you know, for sort of days and even weeks afterwards, and I don't like that. But, um, yes, so I'm watching Outlander. I'm trying to catch up on my crochet work. I was also really um, kindly sent um, an embroidery class to try, like an online class from, it's the Royal School of Embroidery, um, in partnership with David and Charles. And um, they've sent me um, a course, you know, to they let me pick. So I obviously just went for a beginner one, but, um, and I really, really want to start that. So. I might film a bit actually in, in this when I finish chatting and show you what is in the kit that they sent because it's it looks absolutely beautiful um, and then I'm going to hopefully this afternoon maybe log on and do the first class so I'm excited for that. Um, what else has been going on? That, <laughs> that's the dog, you can hear the dog. I don't know what he's doing. Um, and that's about it really. So yeah, just, you know, recovering <laughs> and trying to take things easy. Um, a little bit of crochet, I'm hoping to do a bit more now. I did have loads of projects I wanted to do. I also got some Christmas videos um, that I already had planned to um, film. So I think, because the, the thing that stopped me filming the podcast quite honestly is I don't, I don't have anything finished to share. Um, the projects that I am working on, I can't show. Um, I haven't finished the beautiful top that I was working on. I have done a bit on that this week, um, but I need to, I ran out of yarn, so I need some more yarn for that. Um, and I've not worked, I've not even worked on the blankets. So there's, there's really not much to show really, apart from I do have some sort of new bits to share and some books. So 
I think I'll get on and try and finish that top this week. And then once that's finished, because um, it is looking really beautiful, um, I'll be able to film another um, episode of the um, podcast. So I think that, yeah, I'll do that. But um, like I said, I do have some Christmassy um, videos to um, film, which I was really excited about a few weeks ago. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're all well. Um, just a little bit of an explanation that, uh, of why I've not been filming or uploading. Um, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the bit of footage that I, I have filmed um, from earlier on in the autumn. I'm not even sure how much there is. I'm going to go and edit it now and have a look. Um, but I will be back soon with a podcast um, and certainly some more videos anyway. So um, take care and I will um, catch you all soon. Bye. So this is the um, class that I've been sent. It's an introduction into Jacobean cruel work by Deborah Wilding. Um, and it's for the Royal School of Needlework. So, um, but look at that. Let's see if I can. Doesn't that look beautiful? I really, I, I'm so desperate to get better at embroidery. So I was really, really excited when they reached out and asked if I'd like to try one of their courses. Oh, it's just so pretty. So that is what we're aiming for. <laughs> um, and the course comes with everything you need. So it's an online class, I think, several sort of classes that are online. And... Um, Oh, look at those. They're beautiful. Can I get in a bit closer? Look at those colours. 100% pure English wool. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, gosh. <clears throat> I love those. They all look really rich and lovely. Um, what else have we got here? Um, some tapestry needles. Let's have a look. Um, so I'm excited. Um, and then this, I'm assuming, is the. Uh, oh, yes, it is. The canvas. Well, that's lovely as well. Um, oh gosh, I really hope I'm going to be able to do it. <laughs> so I will let you know how I get on with that class. Um, I mean, I think this would be a beautiful gift for Christmas, dare I say it. Um, I guess that's all the instructions. So, um, yes, so I was really, really happy. So. Um, I'm going to get on and, and have a go at that um, this afternoon, I think. I'll let you know how I find it. I know that lots of you are very good at embroidery, but um, I've never seemed to have the time to stop and, you know, learn properly. So um, I'm really excited that this is going to just make me sit down for an hour and um, just go through something. And hopefully I will end up with something like that.
that time of year where we've got an absolute glut of apples in the house and I've been looking at um, trying to find a way to do something different with them rather than the usual apple crumbles. So I borrowed this book from the library. This is um, Nigel Slater's Tender Volume 2, A Cook's Guide to the Fruit Garden. And there's a whole section in here on apples. Yes, so there's a whole section in here on um, apples. I've never actually read this book. I don't own it. But having had it now for a few weeks, I think I might actually buy it because... Um, it's got some really lovely recipes for lots of the fruits in the garden. So we've got lots of apples, um, we've got blackberries, we've got plums, we've got elderflowers and elderberries. Um, so even hazelnuts out there. So we're quite lucky, but I do find a lot of the fruit often just goes to waste. So this book is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I thought what I was going to try today was one of the apple recipes. And it's just for an apple sauce. But um, I thought, well, it would go really nice with my um, yoghurt. Like, I quite like to eat um, chopped apple in, in yoghurt in the morning anyway. So I thought this would go nice. Or, you know, maybe if we um, do roast pork or something like that on a Sunday. So, um... Let me see if I can find the recipe of baked apples. We do that a lot in the winter. Um, obviously, apple and blackberry crumble. But there are some um, some lovely little recipes in here that we've not we've not tried. So I'm going to try and make a bit more use of them. So um, let me see if I can find that recipe. So I did actually use this um, crumble recipe last time I made a crumble. That was really nice. I mean, it wasn't much different. I just followed the recipe rather than doing my own thing. Um, there we go. Um, can we see that? Ted. Sorry, the dogs. So that's the recipe. Mildly spiced apple sauce. So I'm going to try that one. I think I've got everything I need. Cinnamon stick, cloves, juniper berries. Um, I have to have a look at that. Orange zest, unfiltered orange juice. I'm not sure what he meant by unfiltered. I mean, I've got fresh orange juice, so I'll just go with that. Uh, tart apples. I've got the Bramley apples and some butter and brown sugar. I've just got a load of Bramley apples from the garden. They're quite tart. Um, I think that'll be fine. I mean, that's what I want to use up anyway. So we'll just we'll just go with that. So I'm just going to um, get all the ingredients together and then see how I get on. Um, I've got my little jars. I feel very baby boom. <laughs> Um, these are just ones that I found in a charity shop, so I will sterilise those. I'll probably just run them through the dishwasher, um, and that's an old marmalade uh, jar. So I don't know how much it's going to make. Um, I think the recipe calls for a kilogram of apples. Does that sound right? Uh, I don't know, but I'll have a look. Okay, so it called for um, the zest, uh, a zest of um orange, I think it was like a four centimetre strip, half a cinnamon clove, um, cinnamon stick, two cloves and four juniper berries and put them all in a muslin bag or a little cotton um, spice bag. I don't have any, any, I've just had a look, I don't have any muslin uh, or spice bags so I'm just, I think I'm just going to pop them in as is and then fish them out. So you boil down 400 ml of apple juice, um, and then you add your you add your little spice bag at the same time, um, and then you add a kilogram of peeled, cored, chopped apples. So um, yes, I'll just I'll, I'll add them in and then just fish them out. I think. <music>
photographs of the, the lovely little toadstools that I made. Um, and I've been using these really pretty books as props, so I thought I would just show you. I, I got them in a charity shop and they're just so pretty. These little nature at work books. There's, there's three of them all together and I just made my toadstools. They're just so pretty that I couldn't couldn't leave them in this shop. They're in the um they're in the charity shop. I don't know if they were some sort of textbooks or if they're just I can't say down there. Anyway, I think I should have them because they're so pretty and I've got the prettiest little pictures in as well. So they've got some photographs and then they've got some of these lovely prints. So I tried to get that one in to the um, Instagram photo, but I don't really think I had enough room for it. Um, yeah, they're just really lovely. So um, volume one, volume two there. Like it's more about the flowers. And then volume three. Just love those illustrations. So I haven't had time to have a proper read through them. Oh look at that. There's an owl out the um the back that I've been hearing late at night recently. Well there must be a couple, they've been calling to each other. I love the sound of the owls. So um, I thought I'd just give you a little flick through those while I was um, taking the photos. Really lovely and I can't remember how much I paid. I think I paid, well, it wouldn't have been more than a few pounds for the whole the whole set, which I think, you know, it was lovely. Just, just gorgeous little books. I was very bad and ordered myself something from the new Emma Bridgewater, the autumn range. I wasn't going to, but <clears throat> I loved this mug and I just kept thinking about it. I really, really don't need any more mugs, but they all get used. Um, and I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Isn't that gorgeous? That's just beautiful. Um, Oh, I love that. There's a little uh, autumn treat for myself. <laughs> I love the sound of the owls in the garden at night. Matches my autumn nails. I've just filmed a, um, a tutorial, a spooky tutorial, so um, I've painted my nails. Mm -hmm. 